I don't know if I want to do his regular or his Christmas version. You were right there. Right there. Well, his Christmas version actually looks looks really good. It's not as uh. different. It's surprising it's not as different. It's just adds about nothing food. to it. That's it. So you have to tell people to start. <laughs> nutmeg. <laughs> what is he talking about a nutmeg floor? What the heck? Mm. Hello, people. Hi. See if everything lines up all right. Looks all right, I guess. Hell yeah, the tunnels of drawers. Again. I think we just did this. What's this doing here? Mm -hmm. What's one doing there? Except I don't need. Might need it later, you never know. Yeah, later. maybe. But, not right now. So, well, some of this stuff is from the adventure we just finished. There. So I really don't need this any copy of this crap. I do uh, need to keep the stuff for the hammerhead ship because that's going to be your guys' transport across this little inland sea for your uh, troops. So we need to keep stats on that. Um, pencil. Pencil. More <laughs> crap. Crappity crap crap. Crappity crap goes bye bye. Only crap if we've done it, we don't need it anymore. Well, pretty much because there's so much stuff piled up around here. Away, away, away. <laughs> Maybe. No, you're not. If I need it, I'll reprint them. Okay. And that's my crits for when you guys try to get yourselves killed. And I have to damage you to make, make you guys pay attention. <laughs> okay. Well. Let's see. There's you. There's you. There's you. There's you. There's you. No, here's me. Not right now. Yes, right now. You, you slept like that? All night in Dragon Form? You're driving yourself. Well, you know what that means, though. If Ada was a dragon all night, that's some that's warmth in a cold area. And that means he may stay that way. It's true. <laughs> A shape changer or a magical spell. Well, actually, I think the spell has a rain uh, limitation. You didn't give me one. I have the spell. If the spell doesn't have one, I think we were because uh, when Ada, I think when we when she got. Oh, it, regardless, if what the spell says, if you use it for too long and you stay in that form, it's gonna drive you crazy. Yeah, but I think we, because she had just gotten the form, we just did a quick speed through it. Well, it's in, the, it's in the spell, but it's in the book. Yeah, well, no, I said we, you just... And it's not my job to look it up. Oh, I know. I know, I, I know. have to look it up. I, need to, I, was I think I need just to, to check right now. I think I need to get myself one of the books. Well, you said I'd find it online. Yeah, that's why I'm going to ask my friend. Um, but the one online has different spells than this one. Um, although we are using the new system, except in character generation. Yeah, I kind of figured. Because okay. character generation system... Really got kind of hardcore on nice. everything. Every character <laughs> being perfectly balanced for every other character, and they took away the dice rolls for the most part. You divide points up. <laughs> okay. Because you know they wanted to make sure every player is equal, and so well, that, that's not that defeats a game. Well, to me, that defeats the game. I don't think it really matters because the game's not supposed to be competitive. You know, I feel it just so, should be... You I'm have, looking for that spell right now. I feel you just, just have different You take a more talk. Here it is. Enables you to change others. Oh, wait. Um, that's the other version. Mutatus, mutatum. Yeah. Mutatum, mutandus. 
which is enables you to change yourself into any form of creature with an MR no higher than your combined prime attributes, given you all the powers and abilities of that creature. Ah, we've not been following this. Um, one to six turns at the user's option, at which time the creature returns to original shape. We are already doing the MR thing. Um, I think I'm going to change that for as many rounds as your level. So nine rounds? Yeah. Which is 90 minutes. A round is actually a 10 minute period. In so that just situations. Means, so that just means every time she levels up, it goes up. For one minute. Yeah. Wait, it's not, it's not too bad. Well, yeah. So, in that case, you're lucky because you can't get stuck. You'll just change back regardless. It says one to six rounds, but it doesn't say what that one to six is based on. So. Excuse me. <coughs> and it makes sense to me that how long you can stay in that shape would be increased by Could your... Could you go grab me one of my waters out of the burger, please? On my little burger. By your uh, level... Probably put this back. Come on. Oh, have a DNA enzyme there, please. No? I guess. I took a shower before everybody got here. I showered this morning. Actually, I was still in the shower when you got here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll just be that extra precaution. I totally spaced about that. Ow! What'd you do? I didn't do anything. He hurt himself. No, she was thinking of hurting me and my fan attacked me. Oh. Oh. Anybody else need this? I'm gonna tell me a lot of people. Oh, so that's why she's not gonna be here tonight. What? No, what? Uh, Devin Friday. and I are gonna talk to her on Friday. Friday. Or on Friday, yeah. I'm uh, saying Friday then. During the other, after the other. But game. well, at least she's able to get her stuff finally. Huh? Or what's left of it? Oh. No, no. Oh wait, it has nothing to do with the game. Yeah. Oh wait, I don't care. <laughs> it doesn't exist. We're sitting here in front of five or six people talking about stuff involving people that aren't here. Doesn't that sound kind of silly? Yeah, I'm just here. You're just eating licorice. <laughs> this is defense. What happened when the Germans invaded Poland? I was oh, eating geez. licorice. Exactly. Like... Oh, I was just attacking you. <laughs> <laughs> you did? Take oh, that! God. So, situation is this for starters. We are at Zaltan City. Let's do that shit away. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I could say you guys have actually left town. But I was going to give some of you guys a chance to purchase some stuff. <laughs> Those ones. And those? Where do you get the dice to turn it? You would have that is a question you'd have to ask her. Ask what? Ask her. What? Is that is good dice. Same. That's what actually what I went to Target for today, but they closed before I could go. Well, actually, I'm double check this stuff then, that's what I didn't see. I need to get more rice. Okay. No. 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 I thought I had this stuff organized, but instead we're all sitting here. 
interesting. Okay, the question is, does anyone want to buy anything what? in Zerat Zeltara? Before you leave port, heading for the next island down this river. Food. You want to buy some food? Mm -hmm. How much? I can do that. How long? Well, when I took a sip of it, I... How long are we going to be gone? Um, from here? No, going to there and... It's going to take only about a day to get to the next port. Yeah, exactly. And then you're going to be hitting... It tastes like bear. Uh, then you'll be going to the opposite side of the island. Well, that's where the port is. And then there's a great big area of, of land there. It's got hills. You don't know much about it yet. I just got it. That's where you got to go to the island and find okay. out about it. But this here... I need to watch it. Inner hey, sea. Amber. Hey. This sea... It goes on both sides of this, then three joints, and then splits another island, and then over here somewhere is a chunk of land. Okay. Right now, you're here, you're going to journey to here. How many days do you think we'll be gone? Three days to get to the next port. But as far as till you get back, till you're gone, you're never coming back here, as far as you okay. know. I get my money tomorrow, so. No! <laughs> what? It's forever a surge forward. <laughs> well, he, he, he's got to set up for tomorrow night anyway. Ten days of food. You and Bill Ten days of food? And no, you cannot play Final Fantasy VII while I'm gone. Okay, food. One day of provisions cost four gold. Now she's got seven to deal with. So it's cheap here. So forty. 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 I bought that today. Yeah, forty. It is 160 days food. We'll say water too. It's provisions. Yeah. So that's how many days? Ten days. Forty. You said forty days. Yeah. And then that's what I charge you for. And the camera's like 160. 160. I got another camera. Yep. 160. Okay, pull that out. Okay. Anyone else need anything else? Let's save myself a lot of time. Look where she's if we're done here. I'm done. I'm good. I got 40 days of food. She's got her new Sessa Sager. Yes, they do. <laughs> okay. Ah. Uh, that was the other thing I was looking for. But I may not have needed it. Got enough weapons. And that was, and I'll double check with you people. First of all, there were a few unique items. We will cover them one more time before we leave this place. Uh, Cestus, which is a weighted hand wrap, which allows for punching people for additional damage, clawed gauntlets, a sack which is a leather filled sack with small bearings. You can use it, especially if you have roguery or assassin skill, to knock someone out. A torch mace, a torch staff, a weighted net, a bladed gauntlet which basically has a blade on it, bolas, blunted arrows, and fire arrows. Okay. We five. good there? I'll take the weighted net and the bladed gauntlet. Okay. Um, bladed gauntlet costs 25 gold. And it's 3 dice, 6 damage. Plus your personal ads. Well, let's just start back up. Yeah. The blade's folded back until you need it. It's not constantly sticking out. It's like a short sword blade. The other was the weighted net. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Um, one gold. All right. And what it is when you throw it? Um, they got to make a strength roll to get out of it. Just try to break out of it. Uh, one other thing that's on here that no, that's not on the list for some reason is the wrist crossbow. So it's a small crossbow. Got one. 
Yes. 40 gold. We get to Assassin's Creed territory. And the wrist crossbow does 2 plus 0. Plus mer- missile adds. 2 plus 0 plus missile adds. Uh, the main thing they've used for is people put a little poison on them. So 2 I 6 plus 1 missile adds? Yes. Okay. I'll keep some of this stuff just in case. Now, hey, hey, Dad. Hi. We're medicines. Hi. Medicines, there were uh, balms, elixirs, fortifiers, liniments, filters, restoration of spirits, stimulants. Prices go from 50 gold up to 1,000 gold. I think I'm good for now. Good? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll save these ones to the shopping list. And then we're going to move on. Okay. Give me, give me that. Right now, I need a navigation roll. Who has the boat? The sparrow. Because that's what you guys are on us on your little boat. The sparrow. Blood company arrives. I'm a sparrow. Where? That's probably it. Mm-hmm. This was, I was just looking at it. Put it on the, put it on the table, then everyone can see it, not you. You're not even driving it. That's the navigator over here. The guy who was one time in the Navy. Make a roll, Bill. Mm-hmm. Or what? Navigation. <laughs> You're driving the boat again. You just bought one, right? One or two? We bought two. Two. Plus your navigation skill. Uh, oh, oh, so I So that's the person with Corona. Plus eleven. I choked down Corona. So that oh. is twenty-three. What is it? What's your guys' White problem? White claw. Okay, no idea. Doesn't mean a thing to me. So, dirty penis. Exactly. Whatever. <laughs> so, it's a version of Mountain Dew? No. Why are a version of Mountain Dew? It's worth talking about. 23. <laughs> 23. First level roll. So Main thing you want to do is not run into any of the other boats. Um, there's a lot of activity going on in the water right now because, well, uh, people are trying to cash in as a chance to do some sales because the uh, town's having to rebuild. They're suddenly flush with money. Bloody! Hi! So, um, there's not many encounters right now because huh? the main encounter was the Salagan. They kind of scared away everything else. Your thing was basically not to run into any of the boats. As you were heading over down the river, the river gets about at points, the widest point, like right after this island, like a Great Lake space. Over here, you know, some areas you can see across, but it's pretty wide. Water's moving pretty fast. Does the same thing on the side of this island, which, although it's a couple days traveling, I said there's no counter, so we're not worrying about that. We'll put you over here. There is Fort Guido. I did not name it. Yes, you did. Here. Show you the module. No. It's a TD module. So, by default, we'll blame Mike. Because he's the one that plays TD. He laughs, saying, Yeah. I don't know if that's what I call it. <coughs> Depends on which uh, the module it is from. Yeah. From the newer one, I don't do that one. Well, it's not the module. Every every module can be attached to any system. True. If you understand the system. 
That's what I do with Jungle Trolls. Trolls, trolls that make a whole lot of uh, adventures for for groups to play. It did more solo stuff. But I had friends. <laughs> so, you know, I played on the big table. <coughs> oh, we need a bigger table. So you guys get to the next fort. Everyone roll dice six. No. Four. Five. Two. Okay. No one got a one? No. Okay. Uh, like I said, I think it's been kind of crazy right now. People rushing around. No one's really paying attention to you guys. You come in and get a little boat. Mm-hmm. A lot of big boats trying to carry as much as they can. They come out of retirement, then hiding them in uh, docks here and there because the pirates are taking them down. Pirates are actually probably trying to make more money in a honest business for a little bit. Because, you know, if they can transport, they can make more money in stealing it. You know, at this point. Now, carriage begin your adventure at Guido's Fort. You will meet at the Lion's Den, an inn that has a large common room filled with many benches and tables, a bar, and a large fireplace. The common room is a smokely, dim lit. Place. Isn't that where everyone checks? It's like the unemployment office of the fantasy games. And tends to be rather quiet. The inn also has a sleeping quarters for rent. Anyone wish to ask questions? Like about the sleeping quarters as you're coming in? What are the uh, quarters like? Sleeping quarters like? Well, it's about one silver piece per person for a night's lodging on a straw pallet in the back room. Uh, of course, a little dirty, but it's all we have available. If necessary, you can fit in three people, but we will charge you three silver pieces. But you can't fit any more than that. Two for the all and fall, two share in the bed, one on the floor. Yeah. Um, things are crazy right now. There's a lot of people coming in and out. Not much places. Rooms and rent. If you guys look like because you're a larger group, if you need, um, maybe there's in the pub across the street or at the hotel across the street, you can sit, get a room. But right now, don't have anything. If you want to sit down, uh, you can have drinks, um, food. Uh, just tell us you want See food. You later, uh, there's buddy. no choices. Uh, we'll just bring you some stew and some bread. Anyone wish some food or drink? What do you got, vegetarian? Bread. You can pick out meat in the stew, but it's been cooked in the meat. Like I said, there's not any choices right now. But yeah, drink wise. Uh, Bread. <laughs> it's not me you should be looking at, it's him. Bear. <coughs> Bear? Yeah, Horse piss. Beer. Not right, watered me, down too much. Let me go out to a horse and get it to piss in a cup for you. Um, everyone make an intuition check. <laughs> 42. Intuition? Yep. We've got five people in the room right now. Or you uh, in the, the bar area. It's kind of late. Twenty. There's not a whole lot of people up. People are more in the uh, quarters sleeping. Twenty-four for me. Twenty-four. Mm-hmm. Okay. Fifty-one. Okay. What'd you roll, Amanda? I got a sixteen. Okay. And Edo. Forty-two. Okay. Three of you looking in the area, looking at everything, I think there's probably a chance you might get fleas if you stay here. I'm going to the hotel. Okay. Yeah. I'll get us a room at the hotel. Okay. <laughs> who's going with you? Raina? Just make sure who's going with you. Or are you just going on your Should own? Should we go over there? 
Let's do lovebirds get their own room together. Okay. I'm in my own room. No, you're not. I don't know. No, no you're not. No, you're not. Watch me. <laughs> I jump on his back. Okay, I'm watching you. I'm gonna start smacking him in the head, not the mama. I got my helmet on. Still gonna be annoying. Dang, 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 dang. I'm literally on your back right now. I'm watching you. Okay. You have an Edo on your back. Yeah, we well, you know, go. So, you gonna go across? We need to figure out how much room yeah. is over there. When you there. get there, you find out. They think they have um, one room of the stable. They'll charge you a silver piece for it. Um, you probably share with her. We'll charge you another silver piece. How many people can it fit? About two. Oh, I'm going to find three. Make an intuition check, both of you. She's not my girlfriend, she's my sister! <laughs> she yells. Now they all look concerned. <laughs> she was your sister? That's the dwarf. <laughs> no. Hi, Ma! Wait! Let's go find the tree. Excuse somewhere. me. We should have checked this earlier. I take it you guys have six more people so you can have a full crew on your boat. Yes. One of those is her. Yes. Run around. Her gopher. <laughs> okay, just checking. We'll assume that. I was going to go through that earlier, but I forgot. Um, but this place, it's seriously, like they put up like dividers in what used to be a kitchen or a, for a, a deep Fuck thing. this, I'm going to go sleep on the goddamn boat. You're going to sleep on the boat? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's probably better. You gonna follow him? To the yeah. Park? I'll stay in town. Okay. Enjoy getting fleas. <laughs> you said I was going to sleep. I might be going to get drunk for once. Enjoy getting fleas. Well. Love you too, Dad. Except for one issue. Did anyone want to like talk with people in town and maybe uh, get some rumors about this place? You're I can going? talk to a few. Okay. You go make a charisma roll. Okay. Then you make a charisma roll. And I bet you're going to in the bar for a while or not, are you? I'm going to the bar. Okay, then you make a charisma roll. <laughs> 17. Nope. They don't like the dwarf. They didn't even see you ordering. <laughs> Too short. <laughs> don't worry. There's a place later on that they run into that elves are enslaved. So, you know, it equals out. 36. Okay. I got 41. Okay, so it's a fifth. Oh, I assumed I'm fully healed from the last. Yeah, we'll let you guys fully heal. If anyone's hurt, you're fully healed. Except for any, of course, injuries that were made due to critical rolls. That was good. Everyone good? Okay. You <coughs> get one die six, and you get one die six. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, you. Drinks are a copper piece of a piece. What'd you get? I got four. Okay, you get a story about a man eating ghouls, about a group of them, prowl the hill for food. Excuse me. Which is where you guys are heading, over here. I will give them a. You rolled that six? Not yet. Five. There is a haunted graveyard on the hill. You can change that. You roll? Wait, the horse is nearby, right? Many centuries ago, an old monastery was located on top of the hill. You can see it with this red cut stone. You? Same thing. Mm -hmm. Yep, you hear about it too. It's really cool. <laughs> and you have one more because you rolled a higher level. Five. And that was about the haunted graveyard on the hill. So, I shall take one. You can't. No, one beer. One beer? Okay. <laughs> Nothing. Yo, you can't order. You're too short. You don't child. have to be. You're a hairy child. 
No. You can have a beer. Go ahead. Should um, shouldn't be drinking. Anyone can drink one beer without having to make a roll. They're kind of watered down. They had to water down what they had. There's too many people showing up at once. Back. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> It's like a juice box if you watered it down. <laughs> okay. So you guys all want to head back to the boat after that? Yeah. Okay, those on the boat. Or those that stayed in town for a while. Roll. Um. My huh? Nothing. Roll uh, two dice six. Three. Five. What'd you get? Three. <laughs> Third, three? Yes. You got five. Yep. I'm kind of dreading this one. You, uh. As you get back to the ship, you're feeling a little itchy. I'm gonna add a little bit of cool You? Ah, please. They won't affect your play much, but they will get annoying sometimes. What do you wish to do? Take a bath? Where are you gonna take a bath? Down the boat? The water right next to it, I guess. Jump in the ocean? Yeah. Hold I six. You're gonna go for a swim? Six. He's, he's covered with fleas. Oh, nice going, <laughs> dude. Did oh, I did, say good luck? I just had, I just have yes. a beer. That's it. And still, you got please. They're yelling off the boat as you're in the water. I said you no were going to get fleas. Oh, well, yeah, you have your armor, but then it's yeah. hard to clean. It gets stuck in the armor between the you know, layers. Fleas and bed bugs. It's horrible. Okay. And I rolled a six. Um, and what are you guys going to do that night? Well, what did you guys find out? You want to share your information? Yeah. Tell them about the cemetery above the hill up there. Did Raina find out anything? Or was she keeping I, it a secret? No. I heard about, what was it, men eating ghouls? Yeah. And then. And then I also heard about the graveyard. The graveyard and the, uh, and the uh, monastery. Oh yeah, graveyard. the monastery. <laughs> Thank you. A Red Rock hours. monastery. <coughs> yeah. I, I, I need to go look, check that out. Okay. Next day. Since the guys don't seem to want to really go to shore much, I was going to ask anyone want to do any shopping. But it sounds like you guys probably already did some. I got my food. Good thing, except for the bars. Everything else is fifty percent extra on the price. Oh, mine cheap. The price went up here. It was down where you were, but now it's expensive here. It's because they. You will find out, like especially since you ported your boat here, um, are having. They are actually part of the Specularum Empire. Basically, here, roughly, is a sea. And here is a city called Specularum. <laughs> this used to be part of that city's kingdom. They also have other cities, down, towns down here. <laughs> but the hills... <laughs> have been firing, the people across the river here, they've been firing um, hooks with chains and dragging ships to the shore and just taking everything on them. And then they disappear back into the jungle. It's a thick jungle. And you see, just go straight up the mountain after a while. So then the point gets too tall to climb and then disappears out of the clouds. So, you make a navigation check. You guys just gonna head off? Or you wanna check see if you can get any more information? 
Go along and see if you can get any more information. <laughs> he, he already took a bath. <laughs> Okay. Can you check one more time? So yeah. Talk, make a charisma roll. They don't let him off the boat. No, no, he's yours. You, I found this in the water. 26. Uh, no, 16. <laughs> what? 16. No, they really don't like me here. I don't seem to answer any of these questions. You know, he goes walking up on shore. Please chew on him. Okay, Lee boy. Hey, I've bathed. Sixty-nine. You get to make another two dice six roll. You get to make two dice six roll. I got that. This is just straight up. What'd you roll? Ten. You're fine. Roll two dice six. Seven. You weren't flea infested the second time. Maybe you had him to begin with. No. What'd you roll on your two dice ten? Or your one dice six? Or did you get? I'm rolling for your encounter. You made it. You made your charisma roll. Or what you see. What you hear. One. Uh, we're going to bump it up to the next one, just so we can get some of these heard. Fire-breathing dragon lives in the cave below the hill. Well, we'll see if you find one. But it could also, there's sometimes these rumors aren't true, but it could be. You also heard someone else mentions about something over around here. And you roll high enough, I'll give you one more. Roll dice six again. Three. A band of slave trading ogres is using the hill as a base for forays into civilized lands. Did you hear that one the last time? Maybe it's a popular one. Everyone's into a bunch of slave trading ogres. The guild ogres? So, we can skip a lot of the rest of this, because this is how you guys are going to get to the island. Well, you guys have your own boat. Isn't that special? And so, we found... Here's your boat. You can take that that way. You can put it away if you want now. Because... You guys are going to start... Heading towards. He made the roll. Now, as you're heading in that direction, we'll do a, a river. The river that runs through it. Which one, do I have a good one? I'll okay. maybe grab, grab my new ones already. That'd be a good idea. Yeah. Trying to save for so important good. things. I can get some more of them too. Well, I got another oh. whole pack of them sitting over these. These were like when I do a whole dungeon. This is just because I needed. Um, here's where you guys were. <coughs> okay, as you're going down this river. First thing, it's mostly, it looks thick, thick forested jungle. Yeah. Is your head along? Oh. Get out of my head! <laughs> this side is all mountains. All the way head. across. No, but just stay out of my head. Stay out of my head. All the way down to here. Let's see, one there. Two, three, six, one. Yeah, this is good enough. This is basically, after this point, this place actually starts to go down like that, and this river opens to that sea. But they've said they've had people firing hooks at boats and sinking them. And as you're going along, you see boats, um, especially over where the, gra the green tree <coughs> jungles all the way to the shore are. Um... That's where, like, you see boats pulled to, pull to the shore. The, the beach here you see is open. Where do you wish to land? And also say, this side is mountains, too, from this point. This side over here is all grass. Eek. Eek. 
Where do you guys want to <coughs> land? He's navigating. Do you let him just pick a spot? Do you want to land on the beach or you want to land? Why the fuck not? <coughs> For one thing, you're realizing it doesn't look like if you land at the green areas, there's much space to get in unless you start cutting. And you're pretty sure that jungle's going to like have a pretty high chance of being surprised. So, so you go grass. ahead and head for the first one. That's grass. That's a beach. Beach sounds better. Right there. Stop. Yes, I'm a bitch. Thank you very much. This pleasant expanse of grass and flowing surrounds a 15 foot high. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Am I reading the wrong one? I'm sharing my nuts. It's nice of you to share your nuts, I guess. Okay, make sure Say it's it. the right one. Say, Say it. it. I always do, you like it salty. Okay. <laughs> they're not all nope. salty, but they're funny. Right? I was reading the wrong one. That's why I had to check it. This clearing stretches for a long distance along the river bank. The ground is low, flat, and muddy. Most of the grass. There is some sand towards the edge, but right before there, you hit kind of a marshy with plants growing out of it. Um, hardy marsh plants. And the buzz of mosquitoes is constant. Uh, just it mentions, there's no flowers in this area, in case anyone was looking for any. Now, if you guys get past small, sludging through the 20 feet of marsh plants, you get to a, a sandy beach. Now, from that sandy beach, it looks like <coughs> there may be a couple breaks in the jungle. Do you wish to continue searching here, or do you wish to move on down further? Search here. Okay. Everyone roll dice six. Next. Six. Five. Six. Four, six. Okay. Encounters. Um, in any area that is not jungle is on a one out of six. If you're in the jungle, like cutting through it, you can get attacked on a one or a six. So your chance of encounter actually doubles when you leave the road. The reason I say road is as you guys, everyone make an intuition roll. We'll see who sees you. <laughs> Fuck. I don't see shit. Okay. Second. 42. Oh, I just fucking rolled 17. Ankle. 45. 17? For me, yeah. So one of you finds. What did you roll? 42. Okay. You found the first one here. You found the second one. There's only two, so it's pretty simple. What these look like is it looks like they used to be paved roads, like with stones. But a lot of the ones on the outside edge have been like picked off and thrown, so they're kind of like laying in the jungle here and there, um, which you can't see more than like two or three feet into. Only like the road is wide enough for one person to go at a time without having to worry about it. You go too wide, and you're back to someone's basically in the jungle. Mm. So, the question then would be, you found two paths to go. Now, I will say, way the hell up here somewhere, you can see the remnants of a slightly damaged but still standing red tower. The style of it... It's similar to like the style that you've seen, but a little smaller and also more falling apart than the one back in the city of gold. Also in the Silver Princess's place they had one. So, someone put a red tower up there. I'm going for it. That's probably the monastery they were talking about. But you can't see easily, and once you start entering the jungle, in the roads, you can't see the place anymore. Well, where is? Once you hit the shore, you can see it from the boat, because it's a series of hills going constantly up. There's cliffs, 
constantly cutting off. Here wilderness. There. Yeah, if you want to cut through the wilderness, or you can take the road. No, I have wilderness. Survival? So if you get lost in the wilderness, you have a pretty good chance to make a roll to get out or to find food. But, you know, since what's, what would attack you is not really animals stop. very often. Yes, it, did. it did. It does that. Uh, so it's asking the pause, questions. Yeah, it does that. that. Ever since they improved their system, you know, it quit doing what it used to do, which was nice. I should have taken that beforehand. does that every 30 minutes or we're something gonna like that. We're going to have to try to figure out how we're going to get Joel to the house Because my dad won't be home until late. He's going to have to kill him. I don't see an option. Okay. How do you guys wish to do this? Basically, you think you're going to either have to A, pick a road and follow it, less chance of encounter, not know where it's going. You don't know where it's going once you start cutting into the jungle, too. But if you cut through a space in the jungle, your encounter chance goes up. You will get about six spaces eh, that might be a little far let me double check here in size equals oh 300 I guess three three a day and then you guys can camp at night you don't know the chance encounters might may even go up at night. But your camping will not be, unless there's a, some openings, it may be everyone sleeping right there on the road. Or you find a nice spot to like pull out and have a nice little camp. It looks like actually, I forgot to put, right along the edge of the mountains is another river. But it looks like it gets pretty shallow. Like a canoe river, maybe. You might be able to forge a 10 ton vehicle through there. But you don't see that river reaching. I mean, you don't know where it goes after it enters the jungle. And you can have the same problem. And if people show up and start firing. Now, you don't see any like crossbows. Like stations, station on the wall, on the ground. So you're not like the, they're having to bring them themselves or something because you don't see them hanging around the park anymore. So, um, <coughs> you're right, right now on the beach. What do you guys want to do? So does this mean that you're. You want to camp here, head out first in the morning? Okay. Who's going to watch during the night? The dwarf. Because no one will see him. Watching them. Yeah. Watching them. Yeah. Hey, Lynette! And I'll so go ahead. Dwarf, roll a die six. Mother of Christ. What do you get? One. 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 So, does this mean we're Miguel and Antulio and your horse bites me on the butt? <laughs> As we try to betray a place. Oh! <laughs> die six again. Yep. Two. So we got to see what you ran into. I got the cactus jack. Like I know I had that one before. It's my hair went out of that brand. Okay, you're sitting there at night. Bill's you on hear uh, something moving through the bush. It's at the edge of the uh, camp. You know, at the edge of in the grass area, kind of moving around. Yeah. What do you do? Mm. Well, I can't hear any going to help me on this one. Yeah, there's a lot of animals out there, and a lot of other things being real. Well, as long as it's not coming anywhere near me right now. I'll uh, leave it be. You need your you for the night. <laughs> 24. 
Good thing we have the same uh, type you made of charger. It. Uh, yeah. At that moment, suddenly crashing out of the jungle comes an ogre. It looks like he wants to try to bat you off into the ocean or the water. And then he'll kill everyone here. So, what do you do? I scream ogre. Okay. Everyone else make an intuition check. Actually, I scream out, Shrek! My ex-wife is a hair. <laughs> intuition check, Virgil. No. Nope. Okay, you're sleeping. You go ahead and roll your attack. He's attacking you. You want to fight back? He's going to let him hit you. No, no, you don't hit me. Okay, just check. I got a 22. 22? You hear? Shrek. You can decide what you're going to do about it. Well, if he yells Shrek, you don't have a clue what that 39. is. 39. Nope. What? 39. You hear him too. You actually roll high enough, you can like respond though if you want. He owes, we assume ogre because you know, he doesn't know what a shrek is. <laughs> what do you want to do? <clears throat> do anyone set up tents? I don't think so, you're sleeping on the ground. Mm -hmm. Jump up and help him? Yep. Okay. Uh, you'll need to make I a don't speed sleep check on the ground. I sleep up in trees. Thank you, you very much. Yeah. Uh, nine. <laughs> I'll need a first level luck roll, but we need a trees in the jungle. 32. First level luck roll? Yep. What'd you get? 32. 32? Okay. Good enough. You may attack. I made it. So you two are fighting the ogre. I made my luck At night time, they can travel alone. Oh, an arrow man. No, he's too close for that. Too close? Yep, he's right on you. He's All like right. hitting the, old, the dwarf this turn. And a sword. Okay. I might just take you guys home after game and come home to the fan. Okay, give me your guys' number. 127. Second. What color? So you okay. matched it. Okay. Seriously? Okay. 127. Okay. But he's, he'll, he'll be damaged. He stabs in the back of your block. He's attacked. Three fumble. They don't do that anymore. Two twelve. Okay. <laughs> He's dead. They both get forty-two points. Dead ogre. So. Um. That's the only encounter until morning. In the morning. You guys decide how you want to go. Oh, um, let me check your something. Roll a dice six for that ogre. Go ahead. We're gonna roll it because. That was my. Four. Sure. Okay, no. No treasure. Okay. What's the plan first? I need a walking order? Put it heading towards her, because that's the way you guys are going. Who's next?
Why are you always in the very back? So I can lob arrows at everything, you know, just throw them, not even use a bow. Box before the door. No. We don't want to get the dwarf stolen by a freaking football player. Yeah, spider. Some kind of spider comes around by, grabs him like a football, and runs. Motherfucker! Okay, a path needs to be picked. Or do you wish to just start digging the hard way? You're hoping one of those roads will head up there. We're going to follow the river up. You take the river instead? We're just going to walk along the river. Okay. So, um, who's in the front? I am. Roll a dice six. Three. Okay. Roll again. Six. Okay, encounter. <laughs> and make an intuition check after that moment, but we're still going to have an encounter. 49. Okay. It looks like after a while, the road follows it too. But before you broke to the road, roll die six. One. Okay. Everyone make an intuition. Or everyone roll die six. That's what I was going to do. Five. Two. Four. No one rolled a one? No one was surprised. Everyone gets to fight the mass of 11 hobgoblins that come flying out of the jungle at you guys. What do you want to drink? Talking to them. Yeah, someone's like talking to them. Hey, make a charisma roll. Hold your arrows! <laughs> I'm drawing. Sorry. Hold your sword. I'm going to start in just in case. Oh, that means she's looking violent. I'm always violent. 77. What do you say? We're just exploring these woods, or these, this forest. Well, you can't. It's ours. I'm sure everyone knows that by now. Put down your weapons. We'll be forced to kill you. How about no, you ugly son of a bitch? So looking at each other. I think we outnumber you. Talk to the one that seems to be the one in charge. You guys do know I'm not really afraid of you. What are we supposed to do? I've went up against worse. What are we supposed to be? Well, we just thought maybe you would uh, realize we had the numbers on you and... Uh, I don't care about numbers. So you're just invading our land? We're not invading. You shouldn't be here. This is not open. We don't take. Does this look like? We don't take your type here. Does this look like the face that cares? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll let you go then. Yeah. They go walking off into the jungle. Kind of, you know, Homer Simpson back into the jungle. 
to roll a die six. Because you're kind of spread out because that's what you have to do to see if you're five. Four. Six. Three. Okay. You're on a road. So you're all right. Next day. Die six. Ah, uh, yep. Two. Two. Hold on. Are we supposed to be scared? <laughs> Roll uh, two more. Four, two. Okay. It's getting towards evening. You guys hearing a lot of movement here and there, but it seems like it's staying at the edges of the uh, jungle. It's like basically staying out of sight. That's probably the hobgoblins. Of course, I love Okay. Who's uh watching that night? I will. Okay. Roll a dice six. Three. Okay. And make a luck roll. Uh, 42. Okay. During the night, you definitely see eyeballs watching from the distance. Not all the same light, size, or type. So, that was another three days. For another day. So next morning. Head on? Yep. Three. Okay. Again? Yep. Four. And again. One. Oh, there's a one there. Roll a dice six. Three. Okay, everyone make an intuition check. Sixty-nine. Twenty-six. Thirty-four. Awesome. I'm write down a bunch of numbers because I might use them this time. made the rolls? Second level, 25. Yep. Three of you hear a strange off-key squeaking, almost a whistling to it coming. And kind of a busy sound almost. But not quite like a bee's. Unless it's really fucking big bee. And this is you guys are getting late. 
getting ready to start a place to sleep, start laying out, an income fly, a pack of sturges. They're a type of, uh, I guess you cross between a bee and a mos or a, a mosquito and a bat. They have a long, probusive nose. They like to stick in your body and drink blood. Flying in to get all of you guys. It's a mass attack. They're all trying to get you. Now, what we can do is we can divide them into groups of three. There's just three, well, except for two. I roll and roll die six. Whoever rolls the highest doesn't have to face three. Six. One. Six. You get three. to fight you two. You two roll again unless you want to let her have it. Okay, you're fighting two. The rest okay. you do your combat rolls. I'm using my wrist crossbow. Okay. Um, to hit him, first of all, I guess I should have stated. You need a first level saving roll on your agility or dex just to start combat with him. I already did that. Yeah, just roll a 20 or higher. That's all you need. Um, you need another dice? No, I just remember that's 12. Okay, roll. You're fine. Yep. The reason why is because they're small and fast. So you need to roll to hit them. If you want to use a, 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 a uh, ranged weapon, add another level to the control. 152. I'm doing okay, same with you. Okay. Kevin. 152? Yeah. Okay. Let me get my number here. Oh, wait, fuck. And, yeah, I agree with you. I should have taken a nap before game. Hey, we'll make some coffee. I can have coffee. That's right. I'll have some coffee anyways. Fuck you. Coffee's <laughs> always good. Fuck everyone. <laughs> Um, You'll be laughing when you're thin and beautiful. Okay. Let's see. You guys know I'm just joking, right? What? You guys just know I'm joking, right? Yep. Yeah. I was preoccupied with something, otherwise I would Give me your comeback. Okay. Um. Two bow attack. You're using your wrist crossbow? Mm -hmm. Uh, what'd you get? 140. Okay, you killed one. 179. You killed one. 122. 122? Mm-hmm. You killed <laughs> You killed one. And how about you over there? She's still counting. Still counting? Your armor. 37. Because since you only were able to, you, with a bow, you only attack one or crossbow. The other two get free attack. Same with him. Um, your armor, how much is it again? 37. Okay. I need to keep track of spike damage. Um, I'll just roll a new spike damage check. One point damage. Just spike damage. He's going to get the same probably. Um, wait, there's two of them. No more? No more there. Your armor is good enough to stop most of it. They'll be able to get a little bit because they like reach into the, the claw, the like chain or whatever in between the pieces. You have to get a six to get something in. What? 
Now, I will state that means you both have ones that are like with its nose stuck in your body. Yeah, 129. 129? Yeah. I wasn't waiting for you. I got 169. Okay. 69. Second one. Okay. You killed two. So you don't have any to fight. You can help someone else if you want this next round. Yeah. You go what? I got 129. Oh, uh, you took one point damage. You get the one that has its nose stuck in me. Did you, you use your bow again? Yeah. Well, you can't shoot the one that's on you. So the one that's drinking blood out of you right now. So I got two of them. You got two. There's one. Hold on. 10, 12, 13. You see, you'll get through my armor? He's already got in, yeah. That was the one point spite I mentioned. He got in between it. Okay. Um. So he's so close. We're doing sword style. Well, yeah, that'll be next round. I don't um, know. I have 12, 13, 14. You took 14 points of damage last round. Or is he drew blood out of you? You didn't have to fight your armor this time. You have, you want to attack the one that's taking blood out of you or the one that's not? Ado. Okay. Is she going to help you? Yeah, yeah I was going to okay. help them. You count for your next attack. I am. You probably kill him. It's not that hard. I am. But I got, Go ahead, I got everyone. damage too. So. Hold on. Well, that's for the next Well, round. I rolled for conduit and I got 100. Hmm? Con? Dead. He doesn't. You can still roll for the one that's coming. How much? 100. Oh, yeah, you just check that one. That one's dead. Yeah. There's still one to fight. What'd you get? 122. Okay, they're dead. You killed the one, she's fighting the other one. So that's 48 for you. 36 for you. It'll be 36 after she's done with this one. For Reyna. This time. This time. Doesn't mean it won't stop. Tired. Yep. But what do you do with that? That tower is way close than it should be. I got ready for that. Okay. Well, when, when you're done. Boy, what'd you get? 194. Okay, so he gets 36 experience. It's dead. And she'll get 36 after she kills this one, which she only rolled a 28. So I'm pretty sure it's dead. Let, 161. Hey, you want to heal it's me? It's dead. Um, Drop out, are you? I took 14 points. I yeah. got an expired potion. No. I don't have one, do you? Do you just keep them laying around? Just no. He doesn't like those things anymore. Hey, we we're healed on we we healed on on that one. Even it's nice. Are side. you sure? Yes, you said earlier we were. You're on up. watch. Okay. Let's and I it. hold a grudge, my Kay. broken nose. Um, then if he's on watch, he cannot heal unless he takes a magical potion. Take the magical potion. I can't heal you if you're on watch. I have a health potion. How many points? To work. Okay. Three dice six. Roll three dice six. Boom. Yep, yep, yep. Boom. Ten points back. I can handle nothing. Just a four. And roll a dice six. 
for that night's watch. Uh, too bad it wasn't expired. I've got one single. I need to get my hands yep. off some expired Three. blood potions. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have to go all the way back to gold. Send a message. Send me all your expired. Big old cake to case comes. One of these will get him. Okay. <laughs> you rolled a three. Things went good. Make a luck roll. Um, 45. Okay. Make an intuition check. <clears throat> you may have to just... Well, we'll just keep it up just to... 35. 35! Okay. You also, though, during the night, saw that you are obviously being followed by someone not on the riverside but on the same side you're on of the river. Just staying in the woods following you guys. Well, when everybody wakes up, I'm going to tell them. Okay. Edo. Next morning. There you go. Great. It feels like it. You guys head on? You want to let someone else take the lead? If you don't take the lead, you're not going to stay awake. <laughs> Three. Again? Three. And again. Three. I forgot to have everyone roll for the encounter that night. Who's guard? Raina's on guard. <coughs> Two. Okay. You're all right. Make an intuition check. I'm back up on my tree. You make a luck roll first level. No! Ah! Yes. No. You're, you're in the tree. It's a jungle. 22. You're good. Now make a luck roll. Okay. I made it. You're good. You make a luck roll. Because you watched eyes watching from the edge. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. See as I scurry up the tree. Mm -hmm. I don't trust brown people. 36? Yep. They suck. Well, we don't. Actually, I don't Kay. trust surfacers. Baby girl, come here. You come occasionally here. hear what sounds like a voice, but come unless here. you speak goblin or hobgoblin, nope. you don't understand what they're saying. But you're pretty sure that's what it's because you've heard your brother Three. speak it. Yep. Ah. Uh, not time yet. Hi, kitty. Did, did she go out? After she got her tuna. Nope. Did she get her tuna? Yes. You'll go out during break, Guido. We will go on. Oh, Next come morning. Come here. Come here, baby. Next morning. <clears throat> oh, sorry. <laughs> Next morning. Four. One more. Five. Stop. No! You can keep rolling, it won't matter. You, the road has dead end at a cliff with a waterfall coming down it. Looks like whatever original passage there used to be had been torn down. Um, only people with a roguery or climbing skill can get up it. Others will be, you know, watched. I'll go up. Do you want to try to go up? And do that? Okay. Go ahead. My roger, the roguery is strong in this one. Yes. It's a, about a hundred foot cliff. Quite difficult. Third level. So, 66. My trailer, 30. 66. Okay, you get up there, throw down a rope. Yeah. Anyone wishing to climb may use a first level climbing roll or a third level strength roll. Because you I have climbing. Make a first level <laughs> climbing roll. A luck roll or what? Nope, strength, strength. roll. Third strength. level strength roll to climb. You're just pulling yourself up the rope. 41. So you both need 30. 
is now. Made 47. It, but she only needs a 20. Because she has a related skill, which gives it a bonus 47. of plus one. Uh, you already made it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that works. Do you want to stop her? She keep trying. She had a 33. Okay. She's fine so far. Waterfall. That's like where the water's hitting. The cliff. You what? It's because I'm buzzed. The what? There's a cliff face. And the river continues on. But we're going to have to call probably at that point. Uh, nighttime by the time you guys got up there. Roll dice six for everyone as you got to the top. Four. Six. Three. Five. Three. What'd you get? Okay. He got a six. Yeah, he needs a luck roll. Twenty-three. That's two. So I'll cut that down as two fails. Oh, 23, that's only one of them. So that's true. Um, I will need a second level. So I need to roll like a 10. No. Eight. Made it. That's one. Miss. 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 I'll be right back. Two. Miss. 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 Two shots. Which is. Plus. Forty six points. Your armor is useful. Is that 46? Yep. You just got shot from the jungle by a crossbow. 10. Okay, a second shot. You got hit twice. All 11 of them fired at you. Six. Forty-one that time. My your armor is still useful. Oh, it took 15. But that still means those crossbow bolts are stuck in your body. Ouch. And you're hanging still on the rope down where they can fire again. Were you the last one going up the rope? Mm. No, second to last. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. So it's either up to Edo or... Reyna, to try to pull you up. As you did, you make a strength roll. Yes, I did. Make a speed roll. You're just going to depend upon yourself to scramble over that ledge. Second level. I'm right behind him, so I'm carrying my shield up. Thirty-one. Ah, uh, they didn't choose to ferry you. It was a luck roll. That's what I was checking. See, you failed there, so but I'm keeping you're my safe. Shield. I'm keeping my shield up. Just in case they fire you. Huh? Thirty-one. 31? Okay, you get up and over the corner. <clears throat> and then they're reloading their crossbows as he gets up. So, you guys are on the top, about 100 feet up. They're trying to shoot you before you got up there. You can see those 11 hobgoblins down below in the jungle. They're firing at you they? before you guys got away. Are they in a group area? Well, within uh, 50 feet of each other. They're not too close. They're trying to stay hidden. Um, really, I don't know if you get a chance to see him. He barely sees him because he got hit by him. And then they would have went back into hiding. If you can make a third level t intuition check, I'll let you catch a view of him. Like, did you want to try to pick one off or something? Or? I'm going to throw a thing of explosive arrows at him. See if I can blow out a whole lot of that and scare him off. Shut up! <coughs> uh, well, I can tell you right now. 
It's not going to make much of a difference. We're up top. Yeah, I know. Which one's a bold one? Are you making a tuition roll? Third level, just over a 30. Uh, <coughs> While he's yeah. doing that, I'll med myself. I got, thir- I got 34. Okay, you're good. You want to fire the explosive arrow? Go yes. ahead and roll normal explosive arrow damage. Okay. Made by medic for myself. Okay. Yeah, you do that. Well, and I'm then basically anything you go over there at the hit point will go to the one next to him. Medic, go ahead. They thought it was safe to shoot you. Because you're a dwarf. 19. Well, they thought it'd be hard enough to get up. This shit is real oh, good. Jesus. That'd be fun. Okay. Fully healed. Fully healed? Mm. Okay. I don't have one. They're supposed to be at the table, but you know, other people have pencils. I don't have pencils. Hold on. Pencils are for people who make mistakes. Right. That one has no pencil, or no eraser. Which right. is why I have it, is because you know it wasn't any use to any of you guys, so it got left in the unloved pile. Well, I can still use the ones that got lead in it, so. Okay! You get up there. You're both. You're all up there. To be your damage, I'll tell you how many you can possibly have hurt. One seventy nine. Okay, that's one dead. That's two dead. That's three dead. So take minus two. Oh no, the weird hundred seventy seven experience. As he blew up a bunch of the hobgoblins, and as you guys are climbing, he, they decided to take pot shots at the uh, dwarf. But he got up in time, and then he got up while they were reloading, and he fired an explosive arrow at him. And they ran, screaming. I got four. Everyone make an intuition roll. Startled by the explosion. 34. Okay, that's better. Actually, it's 30. It's high enough. 58. So, what you have. No, I'm just letting it go. What you have is a. Uh, You're starting to feel they're uh, definitely not of the same cut of the hobgoblins you know. I want to rip the bolts out of me. Yeah, they're pussies! They seem to only want to attack when they feel they've got the obvious advantage and surprise. Because they waited until two of you climbed over the ledge before firing, and then they fired at the dwarf between the three of you. Shot him a couple times. They all fired. Eleven of them. They backed down Nine from missed. me. Yeah, they were. You were supposed to just surrender all your stuff to them. It's because I'm short, isn't it? They're like, come on. Okay, men, baby. Okay, now. Well, I can't say it's because I'm green. You got up here. You're only seven light. Right? Yeah. It's about maybe an hour's journey between here 
and another waterfall and another cliff. Do I see the, You're uh, probably going to have to camp here tonight. Do I see the tower? Uh... I would have to say no because um, it's 100 feet up to the to the uh, ground up top. Okay. So you can't see over that ledge right now. There's a cliff you know, blocking you. It's not far away. Um, make an intuition check. Two dice six. You can do that while eating candy or cookies. And add it to your intuition. Thirty. Okay. Actually, as it starts to get evening, you can see kind of a red glow in that direction of straight, like going where you're heading. But the river is churning. So you cross the river. Yep. That's gonna be a day's worth of activity. You can do that though. Everyone roll a dice six. Or are you just going to fly over? I guess only you roll a dice six. I can turn and drag it, have them on my back, and just walk. Yes, you can. Roll a dice six then. Three. Okay. You're fine, you get to the opposite side. And I transform back. Okay. You all can. Who's watching? Well, I can give you two more days to travel, or two more parts to travel. Uh, but on the opposite side, you go two more, make two dice six rolls for travel. Two. One more. One. Okay. Uh, you guys are heading towards another cliff. That same cliff that you saw where the second waterfall was. It comes around and cuts in front of you. But, because you have another counter roll, roll a die six. Five. You are hearing a buzzing sound. Now, everyone make an uh, intelligence roll. Same as an intuition roll, probably. But this is not for hearing. This is to remember something you guys have seen before. 28. 69. 20. Oh, excuse me. Well, I'll give it to you because it's something more applies to you, but you'll have it because you're high for your roll. Um, do you guys remember about the honey in this land so far you've run into? Yeah. The bees? Tends to, uh, there's a, apparently a type of bee you've run over since you've gone to this land that can actually produce a healing honey. Aha! Uh -huh. But that means dealing with bees? giant bees. It's bees? What do you guys wish to do? You hear the bees. Um, they're yeah, getting Alexa, louder. Just want to go. Your options are right now is everyone can make a speed check to hide or prepare for bees. I'm going to use my rover to hide. Can you make a roll? First level. Fuck your speed. Okay. I'm going to use my speed. Okay, make a speed check. 52. Okay. Shit. Fail. You're out to fight. Probably over over what? Bees. Killer See bees if we can hide are coming. Killer bees. Then we gotta. What's our uh, yeah. speed bees. check to hide or face them? And I will give you guys a clue. The reason you got hurt last time is we got a bunch of flying creatures coming at you. If you use a bow attack, you only attack one, not the whole group. All right. So you actually are less effective. Thirty-two against a swarm. With a bow. What? 32. Okay. You hide? All of you hide? Nope. Except for the dwarf? The dwarf's like, I don't know how to hide. Okay. He ducks. He goes like this. It's been nice knowing you. Make a luck roll. It was nice knowing him, wasn't it? 19. Oh, uh, no, they saw you. Yeah. They're coming at you. Angry, angry bees. What do you do? I guess I'll just stand and fight. You want to stand and start swinging at them when they come to you? Mm. Okay. Uh, 
Are you gonna fight? No, I'm hiding. Oh, you're all hiding. Sure, I rolled low, so you might be all right. She kills a whole bunch of bees. Five. Oh, it's a good number today. Point of damage from a beasting. Okay. Um, <laughs> make an endurance roll. First level. The dex roll? No. What is it with you people? Well, you say endurance, and I'm like, endurance is nothing like dex. Well, Why not say charisma? Endurance has. It would have to be con. <laughs> if you think about it. But, but dex. It's like saying intelligent. It's completely an unrelated thing. <laughs> it's crazy. 36. Okay. You're not allergic to them. And they all died. Bees die after they sting you. They all tried to sting you. They only rolled 110. <laughs> I missed it by one. So. Just matching them one. You take a point of damage. Now. You can handle We're going to climb damage. another. Oh, yeah. Cliff? How much XP do I get? 110. No. Let me check. Might be more. 165. Cross. Then we hit. And I roll a another cliff. I roll an 80 on my uh, roll rate. Just trying to skip all the encounters of the game. You're fine. You're up there. You drop her. I know I'm not trying to skip all the fucking encounters in the game. <laughs> no, well, it'd be a good idea. I didn't write the, mo the module, so. They don't account that. There's no reason anyone would want to go through the jungle. It's written up, you know, they don't even give you rules for it. It's like. When I had a dungeon module, dwarfs started digging holes in the walls. Like, fuck you, we don't want to take your, your tunnels. We're just going to start going straight through. <laughs> going to get you. No. Um, you drop down the rope. You got 100 feet of rope, right? You didn't have to leave the other behind or anything like that. So you get up there, <laughs> drop the rope. You need a climb roll first level. You need a strength level third level. Actually, I have 120 feet of rope. Okay, you're good. Alright. And you roll dice six after you get to the top. 36. Two. Okay, you're good. 47. Okay. 29. You? 36. Okay, you guys all climb up again. Sit camp again. Everyone roll a dice six. If this ends, we'll hit enter break. Five. Three. Three. Five. You're all good. Two, three, five. This was an old Now you're up here camping. Make an intuition check now. Not you. Sixty-one. Okay. Looking ahead, you have another cliff, but sticking out above it a little bit, like it's way past it, it's not like it's on it, maybe it's on the opposite side, a little bit of tower, sticking up. But that cliff, looks like it ends down that way too, so you might be able to go around, or you could just try to go straight. You guys decide this as we enter break.
And Sweeta looks at me like, I'm sure. Right, time for the cat. Well, the rope's going straight. Hmm? Me and my rope is going straight. You're just going to go straight. That's fine. You're like here, there, we go there. And this is where everything's at. I want to get to that tower. Yeah, well, that's where you go. Doesn't mean you're not going to come back and get everything. Exactly. You get to the cat tower. That's the idea. That's the guts of the adventure. Why, why go around somewhere? Is your conditioner turned off? I think I did when you were taking your shower. Yeah, it's off. Good. Yeah, get a little check. Uh, I was going to see if he can't come and show the hair place and anything to figure out what the hell's going on with the car. His friend still hasn't shown up to figure out what the fuck's wrong with it. I mean, I understand the guy works at Buick, the guy has a family and shit, but come on, man. <laughs> You'd like it. <laughs> Monday's I picked your ass up. <laughs> You'd be like, ah, I get to just sit here and do that thing. And yay, I get to enjoy the ride. <laughs> and fuck with all my shit. Oh no, passenger side, own personal climate control. Yeah, it has its own personal climate control. pump in, you can hear that fucker running to a certain car, but there's no pressure whatsoever. Sounds like we're real. Yeah. <clears throat> gotta, it's this got to be the relay of the sensor. One of the two. Right here. Should you key on your motorcycle? Sit on it. Yeah. Oh, I gotta get up and stretch. Want me to move? Yes. Oh, mighty gassy one. I don't know what the hell else we going on either. What you do with beans? Nope. Let's just put the thing off so we can watch the thing go away. Yeah. Ha ha ha! I'm chasing you out of the way! Yes. Please don't fart! <laughs> Actually, let me make a phone call to him real quick. Babe, don't hand me my phone. I can't reach it. If you can. No. Give me something else to listen to other than my normal. 
playlists that I have on Spotify. What are you talking about using your bike tomorrow? No, I said I could fix my bike tomorrow too. I told you I could take you over to get the charger. Yeah, I know. I'm just mad at myself. McDonald's today. Yeah, our number was 666. <laughs> hey. Nice. wonder how that made people feel there. Hey. <laughs> oh, hey, there, said, look at this. This is 666? I said, yeah, that's me. <laughs> and she just looked funny at me. When did Just the like devil start working at McDonald's? No, eating at McDonald's is more like it. Yeah, but I, this lady was looking at me and she... That funny look she had on me. I said, oh, that's me. I'm 666. Nice to meet you. See, I love it when they do that. It's just, it's just hilarious. The looks what on their doing? faces. Are you making more? I'm making you some fucking coffee. Well, cool, thank you. That's what I was coming over here to do. You are my favorite person. And I get your favorite too. But I might be tapping out sometimes. Six, six, six. I'm fucking tired and cranky. Okay. And I can't have fucking coffee. Because I don't like black coffee. See, Shane, yeah. I agree. I don't either. You want Gatorade? Sometimes electrolytes will help. Can't have Gatorade either. That's true. Me and I use electrolyte water. Though. I had to get a new one. Oh yeah. yeah. The other one was like Gatorade and red pepper water. Oh god. Oh, I'm gonna sit in my spot for a little bit, and then we'll get back on to things, sweet out things quickly before it's all over. And to kill her night. Hey, I got six of them. I got six of them. You're not far. Um, it's close to this. Two, three days. You guys should be there. Did Guido get her treats? Nope, she went away. She's coming Guido. for you. Ah! No, Guido, don't hurt me. Oh, she's gonna. Here's your treats. Bill said not to give them to you. Why are you getting me in trouble? Because <laughs> it's food. Don't worry, she doesn't know English. How far? She's the one who told me your key was in here. Well, with mine it goes Viking, Barbarian, Druid, Druidic. 
15 other different things. Well, I got like 15, that's what I'm saying. I got like 15 other things in there. I don't know. I don't know. can't even see where the river you guys came from is. Well, if you get close to the edge of a cliff, when you first climbed over, you see back to it. After you guys go 10 feet forward, you're back in darkness. It's orange in the, uh, so. So does that mean that if Silver Fox pe peeks over the edge, you can walk up behind him, grab him, and go, save your life, and watch him shoot himself? Yeah. <laughs> and then you guys know you're going to die soon. You know that. Here, went up a cliff. Um... Is and then you go locked? about a third of a day. Is that door locked? Yes. One die six. Up to the next cliff face. Six. Six. Roll a die six. Three. <laughs> Intuition check for everyone. Anyone that makes a first level will know what it is by the sound because you've already heard it. Bees! It's an intuition. Intuition. I just need 20. I got it. Bees. Nope. The next. The Sturges. Hiding. Okay. Everybody should go for that. You hear them coming. The things everyone hid from and you got... No, these are the mosquito bat things. 61. You're good? On my road You're... I'm gonna try to hide this. I'm like, shut up! You're like hiding inside the hollow of a log. It was laying on the ground. I'm all you guys see my... All you guys see is my eyes going... 26 this time on speed to hide. Okay. Right, I got 23. It. You good? Yeah, a long pass. Okay! So... What you get? I got a six and a five, and I have minus a twenty-seven, so that's so that looks like a twenty-nine. What, what's your speed? Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven on the plus speed. eleven. Your speed. On my speed, he said. He said intuition. Oh, oh I might have got it right. Yeah, speed. Sorry, yeah, intuition. Speed first, twenty-three. I still. But I think plus eleven is thirty-four. So you so, weren't long past that. No, oh, but I got it. So, everyone's hiding this time. I'm hiding from all these my shield, man. Hiding from the, the bat things. They've come to bite us. Everyone make a first level luck roll. And they'll head on, looking for their meal. Somewhere else. 50. They left you alone. Left you alone. 41. Left you alone. Oh, 45. 
Left you alone. They all go on. No one plays with them. Edo Dragon is not pleased. It's time to climb. Again. And all you guys see is a rope going up. With a 77. Okay. You get to the top. Ooh. Drop down the rope. Edo's truthful. Climbing skill for Reyna. Climbing roll for you. Oh, yeah, sorry. And strength yeah, roll, third level for the other two. 39. Okay. Uh, 46. 46. Okay. 30. Everyone's at the top. Everyone roll a dice six at the top. Five. Five. Two. Okay. Now I'm climbing. It takes up a day. So, uh, who's watching night? Okay, you rolled. Were you last night? Just remember, you must, as long as you don't do two nights in a row, otherwise you start having to make con rolls. Fuck. Also, don't heal while you're. One. One. So. Yeah, I'm going to have to have long. Roll a dice six. One. You can have to redo it. Oh, the, the, the uh, braid? Yeah. Takes, it's hard to keep it in there when it's um, new. Well, Mom said that she could do it for me. Okay. Cool. Uh, make an intuition check, Mr. Uh, dude. Dwarf. Thirty-five. You hear something in the bush. Not as big as the things you guys were hearing before, like the hobgoblins. Not that big. What do you do? It's not coming at us. Uh, just... No, I didn't say it's not coming at you. There's just it's a noise. They yeah, it's just... like sounds like multiple noises around the edge of the camp. Just leave it be for now. Just because you're coming out. Already into it yourself. Really. You just sitting there? Make a luck roll. <laughs> Thirty-one. I have an issue. <laughs> You're hearing a voices. Really? Good to see you soon. Can I uh, tell what kind of voices? What languages do you speak? Common dwarf and dread tongue. Make an intuition check then. Or intelligence, I should say. Twenty-two. And do you have a language skill? Like a language skill? I don't have a language skill. Mm, you don't? Okay. Mm -mm. Um. Oh. You rolled a what with your intelligence roll? Mm. Twenty-two. Okay. You're not sure, but you think Edo knows it. The language, language he hears in the bushes. What language? I'll be brave and go fucking wake Ado and be like, see hey. if he makes a con roll. Ado. 
voices. I don't know the language. Maybe you do. In my head. That'd be worse. We've been drinking again. Conroll? Yeah, no, um... Yeah, Conroll, wake up. Yeah, you're right. You're right. 43. Okay, he wakes up. Ah! You might be able to understand these voices more than me. Here I am. I can't... Make an intuition, intuition roll, see if you hear him. Sixty-one. Yeah. Yeah, that's Goblin. I roll my Goblin. <laughs> I think I need to start learning some new languages. Yeah, you do. I don't know if I can learn any right now. You see what they're saying? I rolled a 55. 55? Yeah. Okay. What are they saying? Let's rape them! Similar. Let's eat them! They're trying to, like, they're discussing if They've got enough of them. It sounds like they want to come at you guys at least three to three per person. <laughs> I'm gonna go over to them. You just go wandering into the jungle in the direction of the voices. Okay. Make a look. What would my uh, intelligence have to be to learn language? 51. Oh, you can learn 300 points to someone to teach you. 51. Okay. I can do what you know. You can do one per level without having to spend it as a level thing. Because it's not that. But you still have to have someone to teach you. Which means, for one thing, you need it in written form. Okay. So otherwise, we'd have to do it as a certain skill. Um, you go out there. And like all the rustling stops and the voices stop. I'm going to say come out. Come out, come out. Wherever you are. Nothing. It would be in your best interest to come out. I know you're there. Make I'm not stupid. Role. We all want some. 83. Okay. Roll that six for me. Three. Okay. You start hearing rustling front of you, but heading away. Again. Like something's running through the, the brush. Below. And away. How far? They're like within 10 feet right now. I'm going to throw the weighted net. Oh. Uh, make a dex roll. We're going to say third level. Forty-five. Okay. <laughs> so. Yeah. Um, I have a bonus because, you know, if it hits the branch instead of them, because you can't see them. But you give them minus two levels because you rolled over a third. Or if you roll a fifth level, I think that's a quick third. 20, 30, 30, 30, 40, three. Three. So I'm gonna need a third level. Ten, sixteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. No. Here the the uh, weighting net goes into the brush, and you hear a thrashing where it landed. 
I go over to where the weighted net's at. Okay. And I say, you guys shot a grant from me. I was just trying you to have talk. a goblin. You shot a grant away from me. I was just trying to talk. Um. Dwarf. Make an intuition check. Beginning there were how I many? Eleven? You don't know. You're sleeping. Oh, I'm just thinking. Okay, okay. Twenty-one. Okay. Twenty-one? Mm. As Edo goes off into the jungle after whatever it was, you hear some noise on the opposite side of the camp. Destruction. Like that? they're gathering quickly. Like, you hear a sudden rush of movement. Uh, prepare for the worst. I get these two up. How do you do it? They say if you grab one and wake them, you, might get punched. you get one before they come in on you. Or do you try to do something to wake both of them at the same time? Spring. Like what? Throw a rock and scream out we're gonna aim to get up. You got a one-handed weapon after that? Me? Yes. Because you only have one hand left because you threw a rock that round. Yeah. I have a one-handed weapon. Make a dex roll. And for right game? Yeah. Dex. Agility. <clears throat> Marble. Well, I know how... Uh... Sixteen. Uh, you missed. Yep. But you yell. So I need a second level intuition check from both of you. And I'm going to start dishing up some coffee if anyone wants. Do you want coffee? They both want coffee. Thirty-seven. Listen, thank you. Thirty-seven, you're good. You may react. <laughs> At the horde of goblins piling into the camp, into the, uh, onto the road, at yeah, you guys. Can Amanda have cocoa in her? Yeah. One or two spoons. Two. Okay. Yeah. You see how the bird turn is, real. This is the best way to have cocoa. Here. That's more like a mocha. Amanda? No, that's yours. Oh, okay. That's one that has nothing in it. Perfect. No, literally, it has nothing in it. Snap your cup. Gamer fuel! Okay. Um, what'd you get? Amanda, mm -hmm. what'd you get for your check? Uh, 20. Good enough. Oh, wait, I see. I needed what? No, you didn't wake up in time. You wake up, but it'll take you around to wake up. Okay. So you will not be... So, but you might be attacked in the first round. I'm going to roll for their mass. Now, when you caught the one, and he is caught, um... You still hear noise in front of you. So they're not all back there. Now I need to roll. Those three over here, caught that one. Okay, your number. 183. Your number. 94.
everyone takes 21 points unless you have armor on. <laughs> you, you can count armor. I think you're all good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you're all being like ransacked, uh, jumped on by three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten goblins. They apparently in this area work in mass numbers to assure they're safe. They little, it, that means there's more than this just sitting around outside waiting to see if it was safe to jump you or not because mm -hmm. they didn't have enough numbers. Is it safe to be able to switch from my dagger to my axe? Yes. So, you have won. What do you do? As you start hearing noise behind you. Why are you guys attacking us? The king said to. What king? The king of the land. Our king. The Hobgoblin King. We knew you were coming. Well, it looks like I have a prisoner. Go ahead and tight. Make sure it's nice and tight and everything. You might want to tell your little friends to surrender. Because they will die. Make a crib roll. Okay. They ran off. Just straight, just jumping through, just leaving him behind. They left him there. The, it looked like two of them took off that way. Jumping behind trees, just doing anything, just, just hightailing it. Full run. Panicky. There's only two of them and one of you, and that's not good odds. And I drag his dumb ass back to camp. Now, you guys. Let me get my number. Um. Penny Britton, Lady Perry, Goblin. Oh, shit. Why? Some real crappy numbers on my side. I'm not sharing my secrets! You are the only one who has that language. None of these idiots. You guys, anytime I mention you guys find a library, you can start looking for stuff like that. Yes. But no one does so. I don't share my secrets. She, he likes to have a language he can speak about the dwarf in. I got an idea. That's not good. No, no, no. It's good. It's good. Oh, it's I do not. Yes, thank you. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry for the break. I was going to say you were eating ass. Four. She was oblivious to that conversation. What? 173. Leave her alone, she's tired. What'd you get? Huh? What'd you, did you attack? No. You can attack this round. Oh. You. Well, she didn't know. 12. Okay, roll and roll. She was asleep next round, or waking up last round, and uh, a bunch of them jumped on her, are beating on her armor. <laughs> and she's like, get! And then pulled her weapon. What the fuck Bastards. are you doing? Don't hit a woman. What? I assume when you guys are out in the jungle like this, you're sleeping in your armors. Mm -hmm. And well, since none of you are injured right now, I don't think. Anyone injured? Oh, nope. just by one boy. Oh, well, for you, I could demand a roll to see if you heal it all. I just haven't met it myself yet. <laughs> yeah. Well, and you can't medic in a, a previous injury. Is it one since the last one? This one I haven't medic yet. Okay. This is from that bee sting. Oh, okay. You got a bee sting he hasn't taken care of. Oh, boy. I should just heal up. Oh, bee sting. Huh? You should heal by itself, shouldn't it? After a day, if he's not been on guard duty. No healing while on guard duty. It's yeah. been a day. Since then? Oh, yes. Actually, it's been a couple okay. of days. So it's the bees, yeah, because last time it was Sturgis. Bees were two days ago. They're your heel. You guys might actually reach the goddamn tower before the end of the day. <laughs> before the end of gaming. 
I don't know how far you get. <coughs> Bill, are you gonna ride with me to take these two home? Yeah. Unless you want me to do it. It's up to you. Maybe oh, she wants to drive her car. Okay. <laughs> End up this place is just empty. Now someone would have done something here by now. Well, I know how the braid how it's how the braid's gonna grow. Okay. Oh, that way? Yeah. Well that's fine. Now you know. <laughs> <laughs> that was a test shot. It's partially it's, it's like a little <laughs> Um, I think they're behind you. Yeah, I got ones over here. Here, hand those down. Can you <coughs> get some off? Get them off. I got one sixty-three. You did a very good battle. Well, my paper is stained again. Guess we get you a new one. Yeah, I gotta get one for what's her name tomorrow or next on Friday. With Lynette. Don't be too happy. <laughs> Don't squeak. Um. What heck was that? Paper towel ball. <laughs> Everyone make a luck roll. It just appeared underneath my seat. <laughs> oh, luck roll? Yeah. Fuck! 30. I... That ain't right. 37. What'd you get on your luck roll? I didn't even do a luck roll. Okay. <laughs> You're still like, I would have done your... Well, you don't need 48. to really. 48. You're still walking back to the camp. <laughs> you got a whole your look. <laughs> She's full. You have a drinking problem? <laughs> What'd you get? Uh, 48. Okay. Well. And yes, I do have a hole in my look. <laughs> um, everyone on their luck roll, how'd they do? 48? Mm -hmm. Fail. Okay. I got a 37. Okay. Um, just be glad it wasn't a copy. 37. I'm sorry. <laughs> or Kool Aid. Now, you know what? A copy though would actually give it a nice parchment look. But I should be glad it wasn't red Kool Aid. <laughs> what would it look like blood? Didn't that happen the last time? Okay. You. And you, yes, your goblins. Er, well, uh, there's a lot of goblin blood all over the area, but you guys didn't quite finish them. But the ones on you two ran for the the uh, hills. Oh. If you make a speed check, you could attack one this round. Okay. You're still being attacked. Of course I am. So you still roll. They didn't know everyone else left. So. Mine are running away. Yep. I'm gonna take another shot out. And we have a prisoner. Okay. Yeah, you're walking into the camp as they're like, <laughs> just goblins are running through the. You're watching them run by you. <laughs> and the prisoner can't escape either. Apparently, the set the the disagreement between the hobgoblin king and your hobgoblins was when to run. <laughs> Yours said never, and his ran away, and then everything was collapsed. They're like, oh, "Fuck them! We'll leave them over there." That was a nice save on that one. <laughs> Which one? That five. <laughs> right. That fucking double. <laughs> Yeah, 
showing them my dice like me? I swear that dice did a trick. Magic. Okay. Two of six. <laughs> it's dead. <laughs> so you get 27 points. Hmm? Did you let them all run away? Yeah. Okay. 128. Well, they were all pretty fucked up, so they all died. So you get... <laughs> 81 points. Come Killer door. Come out of this. Compliment. Covered in Killer goblin door. blood. Ah! Who's that? You, Who's come ra- ah. running, you, you come walking into the thing with uh, one on your... The torch like, stab, stab, stab. No, I kept them. God damn it. <laughs> we have prisoner. Ah, damn it. Well, we can try. You're not careful, I'll run away. How can you fucking run away when you're in a... Fucking net, you dipshit. I'm sneaky. That's his answer. Well, we can threaten we'll poison Yeah, that's him. sneaky. We got you. With the poison, unless he gives us information. Or we could just cook him, cook him up for dinner. <laughs> I know how to do this. <laughs> I have an egg that does have poison. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Guy Cleaver. Just we can chomp him up. <laughs> what? He's attempting to cut his neck with his stole knife. I take his knife away from him. But he rolled a three. So he's trying to commit suicide. Because, you know, he's going to die and you guys can kill him. He might as well finish himself now. No. He doesn't want to suffer. Oh, excuse me. No. So you grab the knife from him. All right, okay. we'll tie him up to a, up a tree, upside down. I take the knife. I sit him down. Okay. Do you guys have any questions you want me to ask him? Yes. Why the hell do you keep attacking us? Different group. I don't care. They're oh, same. because the, their king told them to. Where's your king? It's the Hobgoblin King. You'll never find it. Where I bet is he? in the Red Tower. No, he's not. Just turn into the labyrinth. Where is he? Oh. Um. It's under the red tower. <laughs> you were right. Everything underneath here is a huge tunnel system. You'll never find him though. Goes miles under. The ground. The door so he's right. under the red tower. Way under, hidden. We have no, we have an we have so Are you talking about there. the tower we're going to? Well, if that's your mistake, you should go there. You should go in and be killed. Not if he runs like his freaking subjects do. Oh, he's afraid of nothing. Oh, he's never. He's that's why he's the king. <laughs> you you just look at him and point blank tell him, you know what? Would just, you all say? Just be hey, crap out of here. Want to fight to be king? They're all like, no, that's all right. Give it to him. <laughs> yeah, let's Wait challenge him. No, it doesn't work then. <laughs> if it worked that way, you realize how fast Ada would have gone through the ranks. Exactly. No, I'm, I'm going to try it on the, on the Hobgoblin King. Yeah. I'm going to challenge him. <laughs> I am going to challenge him. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Oh, this well, is... you know what? You little green son of a bitch. You're going with us. No, that's a red No, you're going with Why? us. Because you're my hostage. I'll you're escape. Going... No, you won't. You forgot. I'm sneaky. You forgot. I captured your dumb ass. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta sleep sometime. No, I don't. Right, shifty eyes, shifty eyes. Well, he might sleep. But I won't. Or if I'll sleep, he'll wake up 
Now she'll wake up. And one of us will always be awake, ready for you. But there's um, only four of you. And one of you! Oh yeah, but when you guys get to the city underneath everything, They'll have hundreds, hundreds. I'll just sit on it when I'm standing. Does anybody have a strap of leather? Actually, I got. Oh. You make a bow. I got sixty foot of rope. You can hog tie him. I'm talking. Oh, he's already tied up. Oh, I'm talking hog tie. Hog he's tied in the weighted net. Yo, you take him out of the net. No, he's in the net. <laughs> well, so you take the weight to rag him. Just throw a rag in his mouth. Rayon, you got a wet rag? <laughs> I'm going to take a dirty loincloth and shove it into his mouth. Okay. There you go. <sighs> he looks like I he's funny. got bad he's, he's, he's kind of crying. <laughs> he's crying! Because he's going to die and he knows it. <laughs> I could You're... kill him. I do have a poison dagger. Hey, <laughs> you guys want to travel on into through the jungle? We should have been doing this earlier, too. No, we're going to go directly to the fucking Red Tower. Got to go through the jungle to get there. Fine! Because <laughs> you guys left the roads a long time ago. Okay, I need three rolls. Three. Three. Five. Okay. Now, I forgot, but I should have been also rolling for strength rolls. From two of you to cut your way through this path, or at least one of you to cut your way through the path. But you've been in front. But 49. we're already almost there. I'll, we'll pick it up later on. You guys camp again. It's getting dark, and you're going to have to go down a cliff this time. And down below is an abbey there, with in the center of it a large tower sticking up. The tower kind of looks out of place a little bit, but not to the whole abbey. Some of the abbey looks all right to it, but then there's like a whole like base that it's on, which doesn't match. If that makes you think in its way it's carved, like an Azadian, Azazian, like used to have a place here, and then they tore it down and built their place on top. I'm going to take the long call out of mouth now. Okay. Um, oh, for the night? Because you guys are camping. Who's watching tonight? Goblin says, I will. No. No. <laughs> I will. Question, who's the heaviest? I'm 400, 470 pounds. I'm like... Should we on the front page? Oh, that's one. That's one. Wait, on this one. Doesn't? No. Oh, okay. I'm going back to the other one. I am... Um, Two, two fifty-two. Okay. I was gonna say if you end up standing and watch, just sit on his feet. No, it just uh, well, I think he's hanging from a net from a tree. Yeah. Like bird, like yeah. The bait. net is tied to my leg. <laughs> so you're hanging. Oh yeah, that's right. You're up in the tree. Who's watching tonight? I watched last. I will. Okay. Roll a dice six. Three. Okay. Everything good. Next morning. And you haven't gotten away yet. Let's see. Let's see how sleepy he was. No. I uh, didn't want to escape at night. It's dangerous out there. I don't think you're going to escape at all. I want to have to. You'll be dead when you see the king. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> you know, if, his, if these warriors that we just dealt with are any indication of their king, yeah, just four of us alone are going to be like, ha! Oh, we killed him. <laughs> just barbecue them all. Well, like I did to the other guy when we first landed on this in this area. Freeze, please, dead! Hey. Well, you don't even have to do that now. You can just use Arged. your sword for that. Don't you have one saved up? No. The sword does take that your feet. Mm -hmm. Well, that can work too. It's the only thing. Does that too? Work yeah, that one could work too. Or, that's what I'm saying. Unless you're in a small hallway under their hell. I hope. 
Just barbecue with the real fit. Hundred feet in every direction. Got to go down hundred feet, and by night you should reach the place. Okay. So, this time, well, if you tie off the rope, then you can't pull it down unless you, you know, or you got to kind of leave it, or you use one of the hooks or something if you have them. But then you also got to deal with the luck roll on the way down. <coughs> Strength roll nope. to get down or climbing or rubbery. He's gonna be. Hide my back. No, I'm just talking. You get in there. Okay. Roger. Okay, roll. Like usual. Okay. Climbing for the Reina. Roll. And the other two of you need third level strength rolls for going down. You fail, you fall. Thirty-nine. Thirty-one. <laughs> Thirty-one. Said she doesn't want this eight. She doesn't want to get tied up and thrown in the net. Forty-six. That's old characters. Or, or in a cage. Forty-six. Okay, you're good. You guys all got down. What'd you do? Like, uh, how was the rope attached, though? A hook or tied off? <coughs> yeah. Spider-Man. My grappling hook. Okay. Everyone that used it, make a luck roll first level. Wait, what? Luck roll first level for the oh. hook. <coughs> Made it. Okay. Whew. Made it. Okay. 34. It's off of our what? Luck. luck. Just to see oh. if it if the spot that it. she put it, it like slipped. I got it. Okay. And... You? There you are. You're down on the ground. You got the rest of the day's travel forward. Two rolls on a one dice six. Six. Three. Okay, first one had an encounter though. Roll a dice six. You're still in jungles. Three. I have other things you know. Do you want me to roll again? Intuition roll. This is surely after you got to the ground from the climb. 32. Okay, anyone else? Or are you just going to relate upon his roll? Hearing something. Hearing noise. Can you hearing work? That yeah, helps, no, sure. First level for that. Off of our intuition. Ow, oh, I don't hear anything. Okay. Need 25. What'd you get? I got 17. Nope. You didn't hear anything. Did you get? 34. <laughs> you two heard the sturge. John, hiding! Again. Roll. I'm hiding. Everyone doing a speed check? Now? Made it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nine. Twenty. Twenty-nine. Thirty-one. Thirty-one. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. Thirty-four. Thirty-five. Thirty-six. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. Well, I will have to say, you survived. Woohoo! Then you have up ahead. So I go to this. Um, because you guys don't need them. Because you guys are there. The other wall is almost entirely destroyed. The wall still stands, is obscured by vines, several square buildings, and a large pool of stagnant water are visible. Also, you see the tower sticking out in the middle. Now, let me grab it. Um, coming from the side, you guys came in. Yeah, 
There's a wall. You guys are all on this side of it. It's also starting to get dark. We're going to camp right there. Okay. Who's watching? You want me to? I'll do it. Raina never volunteered. <laughs> <laughs> like volunteer? Encounter. Good at this. Not really. You're good at getting encounters. No, I'm not. Wasn't that usual? No. Oh, I'm you're not supposed to have fun with it. Roll by six. <laughs> Four. Hey, that's different. <gasps> While you're watching, make an intuition check. Nineteen. Nineteen. So. Um, now I'm going to have to do a first little luck roll. First little luck roll for you, or I bite you. No. What? No. No, you don't make it? No, you don't bite her. Yes, I do. You no, bite. You don't. I'm a large lizard looking for food. 34. You guys found, you know, wildlife. 34. Okay. You turn around and about like a foot from you is like, uh... Um, a greenish lizard looks like it has horns and like its its skin looks kind of plant-like and it's about the size <laughs> of a Komodo dragon. Oh shit! And it, it wants to bite you. No. It's just supposed to give you a little... You may roll to defend make, yourself or anything else you want to do. She's coming at you. Oh, fighting. Okay, you <laughs> may roll. Oh, I'm going to kill. Hey, it just wants to give her a love to have there. No. Yeah. Oh, which one of them is dead, but it wants to eat her. A little, a little, a little hickey. It's just why the goblin didn't want to run around, want to run away at night. Because he's a pussy. And pussy. We discussed that. <clears throat> Try that on. Hey, you know what's not on this encounter chart? Mm -hmm. Rock baboons. Thank God! <laughs> well, not yet. They could be somewhere else, but they're not here. Not yet. They're brave. They, they kick them off the, the land. Get out of here. You're brave. We hate your kind. You make us people look cowardly or something. <sighs> when in truth, we're just intelligent. They're evolved goblins. They had, they almost had you guys four to one, but they they, they couldn't count. That's why their discussion. And they still almost well, they did die a lot of them. He killed three, butch ran off with four points apiece. <laughs> with twenty points of blood on all of you. Well, on you, all of you actually. He had a few more points because he finished them all. Did well, oh, anyone clean you? I don't remember anyone cleaning no, you. No, no one did. That's not anyone's job to clean you. It's your job to clean you. <laughs> yeah, clean your bloody stuff. <laughs> well, that just means when I walk in there, I'm covered in their blood. Mm -hmm. I just go, hi. Ah! <laughs> 156. No. Uh, get it. 
You got a pretty damn good piece into him. But he's still alive. It's gonna go again. Okay. Hey, anyone else want to make an intuition check? Sure, give me a second. Second level. Okay. Right, nine, thirty, three. Perfect. 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 Well, weren't you going to hold her? Except for the whole Coca-Cola taste. Monday. I got 30, 30. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's why I said keep it up. <laughs> uh, you, you wake up, uh, she, you see her fighting something. She looks like she's already heard it. What do you need? need? Do you need any help? Nope, I got this. Sleeping. Cool. What'd you get? Intuition check? Nope. Okay, you're sleeping. Silver Fox rolled over and says, You got that? Yep. Yeah! You're fighting a horned chameleon. A giant horned chameleon. I think we might have liver lizard for breakfast. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I know we don't have me. Crystallia here to skin it for us. She's not here. She's in suspended animation back on the pyramid where you guys uh, left her. found the people with the masks. Well, no, that's when she almost died. The um, priest put her in a time loop and are healing her because uh, giving birth is damaging the body. Demons don't come out easy. No, we do. Don't do it. Most demons don't seem to have mothers afterwards. Yeah. Or have drugs. So. You usually kill them. Yeah. And eat them. No, it's just they don't fit down, fit out the normal ways. We come out sideways. Or we come out through the gut. Well, right out of the stomach. Um, I don't know, they just kind of tear their way out, or they eat things they're not supposed to. Or Depending on how much demon and what kind of demon, too. Or like we came out. Luckily, like spider demons aren't so much so because, the, as a child, they take a form of the um, the common life form. The basically the other parent. That's why you look out. Yeah. No, but kind of like uh, aliens, they come out of the stomach. Well, if it was the right kind of alien or right kind of a demon. Demon. No, demon is the same thing. <laughs> we could have lit, uh, lizard breakfast. <laughs> hey, does lizard sound good for breakfast? <clears throat> West side of quail egg? <laughs> Dead. Yay. She gets 90 points. And we got breakfast. Nope. You, you know. if you want. She gets how much? Uh, 90. You did very well. It's like 180 pounds of lizard. So she kills it. <coughs> and then you all wake up to a dead lizard. <laughs> <laughs> One dead lizard. Mm -hmm. About the size, actually more like a crocodile, which is about the size of a motor So we got... Do you like your lizard medium or well done? Flaky. Fish. <laughs> Who wants do to that? eat lizards in the morning? I'll I won't. Give it a shot. Make con rolls both of you. Oh, oh! Three. Thirty-eight. Okay. You're fine. You roll a dice six. <laughs> Take five points of damage from just like, basically, some lizards are kind of like poisonous meat yeah, sometimes. Sure. You gotta be careful with them. Cool. It's just now if you have a cooking skill. You don't know what was good or bad on that. But you'll be fine after a day. You'll puke occasionally. Yeah, I'll live. I'll live by this morning. Yeah. 
Well, by the next day. Get those two that sides. morning, because you guys ate that morning. <coughs> Here you are. Um, I could say you see a tower, although you see it over the wall. Somewhere around here. Now, this size is not accurate because this map is much bigger than I need. But, um, this would probably be a person square. So, it's like I said, smaller, a lot smaller. But it's tall. It's, it's a few hundred, most of it. Half of it is like crumbled, you can see from here. But it's the right kind of rock. It's cut from a, uh, it's kind of a, a rusty stone, uh, like a marble, and they polish it. But there's a wall all the way around on your side. So, basically, what do you want to do? Do you want to pick a direction, or you want to try climbing over it? Scout. Scout? Which way does the scout wish to scout? Mm -hmm. Just go either it's up to you. Yeah. Find this be a scout. Find this opening. You beat this scout. Uh, we can only go two directions. <laughs> so I'll go or you go over the wall. Yeah. Now you're wall. you're not a climber though on your own. No, no. Oh, no, no. uh, your biggest problem also is you're not too sure if parts of this wall wouldn't collapse if people climbed on them. Yeah. But you're climbing vine. There's vines you can climb. This thing is like it's like an Aztec temple type thing nowadays. First. Okay. Oh, with my scout. Okay. Roll. 22. And roll a dice 6. And I'm only going to have it on 1 now because close Three. to the tower there'd be less. Okay. You get down here. And... That's where I have it. Um, see, like, wall, as far as you can see, on that side. Okay. And then, you know, looks like it might go that way, like, at the end of it, but you don't see an opening on this side. Okay. Turn and go the other way? Yep. Roll a die six. Three. And another die six, because that got you back to where you were. Three. Okay. On that side, we go so far, and then there is a break where it's collapsed. And that will continue on all the way to the end corner like that one. But there is an opening here. <coughs> Roll a die six. Five. This whole process took him five hours. After going the wrong way, turn around, coming back, walking the other way. So it's like a third of a day. Me hackling them every time it comes by. This is nothing over there. You're like, thanks, thanks, thanks. I, I, okay. I'll go over here. <laughs> it's the other way. <laughs> and I'm just laying, laying down there. Laying the steps to fuck with Ado. Dragon's tail. Okay. Entrance over here. Um, what I have is... It's 9.55, by the way. Yeah, I wasn't thinking we going to get much, but... Great big pool, like I was mentioning before. There's some kind of, like, structure here. Looks kind of beat up, but all of them do. Bastards out here. Well, just starting to use for the sort of mapping of the dungeons and stuff. But we're not there yet. We're just outside. Just, just all of you guys, get in here. Act like you care. Never. Uh, and actually, um, this one is like really quite overgrown. Possibly more, you know, 
plant in there. Looks like wood, possibly. There's some trees. Actually, I got a tree, tree, tree. I have over here. In this corner are some buildings. Over here. Um is some something that looks unusual. Then here is like the majority of the building of this place. That one's like a and all these, except for the tower, look about a floor up, oh, about 10 feet tall at the most. Now the tower is about 300 feet at its highest point. It was probably taller at one point. But I'm going to give you guys at night, as you guys are getting closer, especially when you're on the hill above looking down, that red tower glows with a faint red. It wasn't just a reflection, it actually emits energy. Also, there's a bunch of like stone pillars, like monolith type stuff, all the way here lining up, going that way. That's what you see from your current location. You'll see more as you guys go in and explore more. So, but we don't even know where you guys want to start exploring. Remember? Somebody lead the way. I'm. Where's. Where do you go? There you are. You tell everyone else to come around? Mm -hmm. Um, Everyone else, or you, Ado, roll one more dice six. One. One. You just had to start this this way, didn't you? So roll the dice six. Six. You sure you don't want a three? Well, that could be two threes right there. Sixes. The six. Nope. I got what it is because it's what she rolled. To be fair. As you guys are going around there, you run into six people. They look like humans. Much dirtier and kind of like whiter. And they're like looking at each other and looking at you guys. Cool. Nope. The human is talking to each other, consists of a lot of grunts. Um, Make reason check. I think someone's seen these before. Intuition check? Um, yeah. Sorry, intuition. Intuition check, Amanda. Oh, yeah. Sorry. 81. 26. Intuition check for everyone. Yeah. Squeedy! Intuition. Forty-four. Forty-seven. Um, and what'd you get? Eighty-six. Okay, you two. Okay, you two are still going with. Oh, wait, you completely failed, or twenty-six? What'd you get? I got twenty-four. Okay, so you made it. You. Say they look like just really ugly humans. <clears throat> okay? You three realize these are Neanderthals. They're related to humans, but they're not humans. Why are you bringing the Eddie into this? <laughs> but they have their big old clubs, and they don't seem to be like the goblins. They're attempting to scare you guys off, making noise, smacking the ground, doing the charge. Here and there. What do you guys do? I throw them the goblin. <laughs> Just throw the whole thing out there, net and all? Nope, I take the goblin out of the net. 
Okay. Toss them to the Neanderthals. Uh, make a dex check. We we'll use that for eight. Seventy-one. Ooh, they were quick. He attempted to run once he landed, but one of the goblins, or one of the uh, Neanderthals, grabbed him. Hey, man. Say, uh, grabs him. Chews on his arm a little bit. He's screaming. A lot of noise. A lot of squealing. Then finally one of them beats it over the head with a rock. <laughs> and they leave with it. There's no reason for a fight if we got food. That's what we came for. <laughs> for some reason I was just reminded of Schmeagle. Okay. <laughs> um, basically, and these guys just kind of left. They got dinner. <laughs> the wall's kind of like, actually for where you are, that wall's pretty solid from the point after it broke there, the opening. That side's got a few more openings. One looks like it may have been the original door or so wall. So that wall is uh, glowing a bit, huh? No, this place is oh. from the opening on top. <laughs> And it looks like like the guard tower back at uh, um, Goal. This is like familiar archaeo or you know tech archaeo no technology or architecture. Yeah, there it is. <clears throat> the lot of the place looks familiar, but worn the fuck down. But most of the tower is standing, and it's the only thing that's over one floor tall. It looks like the other places may have been taller at one time, but they're down to about one floor. You're not even sure if all of them have like full complete ceilings. Um, pick an area. If you guys Tower. wish to explore, well, you guys head say, straight for the one. Want to head straight for the tower? Tower. Okay. Everyone else just following? Yep. Mm-hmm. Sure. Okay. And it's ten oh three. Let me check quickly. Um. Fun. Well, we could have said that the whole time up here, but no. Oh. Well, if you guys want to fucking check, check, go. Check what? What do they want to check? There's nothing out there. Pick a place. I'll do you check. want to go somewhere else? I'll check that one. So you're going to walk by the tower on the way there? Yeah. Okay. I'll be sitting right next to the tower. You're going to wait here by the tower? Yep. Okay. I'm, I'm right over there with him. You're going to the tower too, or are you going to follow him? I'm at the tower. Okay. You two, what's going on? Are you checking for loot? No. In the next building? No. Just me. Okay. First thing you see is you go this way. Later on, I'll try to get this sword. See, basically, I could have done this section, but I, you know, make space. So, you see a door, a door, a door. Door. Cuts down and goes this way actually to different buildings. So, did you want to check the door? The one right in front of me. Okay. Make a luck roll. Open the door and one of the arrows shoot at him. Twenty. Um, this room <sighs> look in there. And this this room contains uh, rotted remains of a many wooden bunks. Room once housed about thirty oh monks, striving to become worthy of the order. Um, 
make an intuition check. Or no, just roll that six. We'll do that. Four. Okay. It, it's just a mess in there. Things are falling apart. You don't. So in other words, this whole spot was an initiate's area. Yeah, it looks like it used to be the bum, the um, like where they slept, where they lived, their life. Bunch of, bunch of busted bunks and you know, places next to them. Little like cabinets on the walls, like one for every bunk type, you know, military type setup. I wonder if that's but very, all. very basic looking, but everything looks pretty rotted. I wonder if that's just for if that's all the rooms then. Yeah. Do you want to uh, look more in the room around, or I can just you know, peek into each one? So well, you no, you get to check one. Deeper into the room, or yeah, I'll go in. You just looked in the door. Yeah, I'll go in a little. Okay. Make a intuition check. Fail. Okay. You don't find anything. Okay. Room's just disgusting falling apart. Although, on the inside, the floor seems pretty solid. Mm. But everything else just seems wrong. Yeah, and the, and the roof's like stops rain in that. So the place looks worse on the outside than the inside. It looks like it may have one time had some upkeep or been built better than, you know, it's just slowly going, but you could sleep in here and not have to worry about rain. Mm. Not that you want to. No, but it's good to know just in case. Well, I can guess I can check the next room. You guys all waiting around? Yep. Roll dice six. Two. Okay. So far, so good. I'll have to check each time here. Why do I have to roll the dice six? I don't I guess. I can have other people do it after this time. This is still not just size, but that's because we're going to be probably done in a little bit. Um, you look at this one. <laughs> this room holds rows of long tables and benches. Covered by a sickening greenish yellow mold. This looks like it used to be dining hall. But from here, you see a couple more doors. But from what you've seen so far, also, this place doesn't look like it's been used for like hundreds, you know, hundreds of years. Mm -hmm. If so, Mostly, probably, possibly been looted by people, like the Neanderthals and that, but, you know. Because mm, it's just looking like it might be just a total area for initiates. Which means there probably wouldn't be anything much anyway in the line of anything there. Also, I should have you rolled, I see. Do you surprise something in there? Three. So far, so good. You want to check the next one, or are you just going to go back to uh, the group? Might as well just check the next and just keep it going. Okay, make a luck roll for the door. Twenty. Okay. Make a dice six roll. Five. <coughs> okay. That one is another barracks. This one looks like it holds about 60, or would have. Um, has about 60 beds, uh, rotting remains, many wooden bunks, blah, blah, blah. Looks like a place for the monks again. Make a die six roll. Three. Okay. Um, do you want to go in? Look around, or you just say this is good enough? Oh, go ahead and take a look. Can I get a tuition check? And hey, you roll a dice six, Bill. Mm -hmm. Okay. 35. Okay. You find in one of the cabinets on the wall a rotting robe. It looks like it's red. But it's like Falling. Like when you grab it to move it around, it pretty much starts falling apart. Okay, I ain't touching it. I, I ain't gonna. No more robes for you. No more robes. <laughs> okay, 
No more robes. No, you I'm... come back to them? Yeah, I'm not doing that again. Okay. Question then is, do we want to end it here? Yes. Okay. We will pick this up next time as they check out the raw, the, uh, uh the stuff. Go ahead and pass it. I'll see you guys next week. Friday for Marvel. Sunday for those Yeah. Mike.